Hey guys, now that we're back inside, I thought we could take a closer look at some of this stuff, and I'll show you how to set up your pocket wizards, your camera, and your remote flash to trigger as a remote setup with a switch just like this one. So there's an accompanying article that goes with this video. If you're watching directly on YouTube, then pop down to the description below the video for a link to the article. And in this article, I describe a couple of different ways that you can set this up. So we're gonna run through those variations now and I'll show you all the different options. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you can get a clearer view of all of this. Okay, let's get to it. This is the absolute simplest form of remote camera setup that we'll start with. So we have a Canon 5D Mark III and in the hot shoe, we have a Pocket Wizard Plus III and this has a remote cable coming out the front of it and going into the side of the camera. So a link to this exact cable can be found in the accompanying article if you need to find it. This is set to RX mode, receive only mode. And then we have a transmitter here. This is another Pocket Wizard Plus 3. This is in TX mode or transmit only mode. And they're both set to the same channel. So when the camera's on, all you have to do is press the test button and the camera fires, dead simple. I'm gonna introduce something extra here. And this is the cable that I made to go on my bike. So for details on that, read the article because there's diagrams there and it explains exactly how you can buy one or make one of these cables yourself. We just have a three and a half mil phono plug on the end here and this goes into the socket on the side of the transmitting pocket wizard. So on the bike, this was taped to the frame of the bike as I was riding and this switch was attached to the handlebar. So now all we have to do, instead of pressing the test button, we press this button and that fires the camera. So that's kind of the simplest setup if you don't want to have flash involved. Now if you do want to have flash involved, what you might think initially is that you would set the flash to the same channel as the camera so that they would fire at the same time. Unfortunately it's not quite that simple but it's not much more complicated either. The problem is that there's a lag time between receiving the signal and firing the camera and receiving and firing a flash. The lag time on the camera is a lot longer than the lag time on the flash. So if you put them on the same channel, what happens is they appear to fire at the same time. But in reality, the flash is actually fired a lot faster and so it doesn't show up in the photo. But pocket wizards have a trick up their sleeve and it's called relay mode. So on the side here, we're gonna change this using the mode button to TXRX and that means this is now in relay mode. What that means is that this will receive on the channel that you have on the screen, but when it receives, it then sends out another signal on a transmit with one channel higher than the receiving channel. So this is set to receive on 17. When it receives, it's gonna send out a signal on 18 as well. So I have a Pocket Wizard Multimax here. I'm gonna set this to channel 18, one channel higher than what this is receiving on. There we go, 18. It's plugged into my Canon flash here. And so now what happens, we turn the camera on. When we press this button that was on my handlebar, flash fires, camera fires, and now they're both in sync. Okay, so for a lot of cases, this is gonna be the setup that you're gonna to wanna to use if you have a remote camera and a remote flash. This is kind of the simplest flash setup. There's a couple other things you can do though, a couple other little tricks. So I'm just gonna take this out of the hot shoe. And we're gonna switch this from relay mode into receive only mode. So we're kind of back where we started here. If we press the button now on the transmitter, this was on the bike, just fires the camera, doesn't fire the flash. Okay. Now we're gonna take a Pocket Wizard Flex TT5 and pop this in the hot shoe. Now the TT5 has a trick up its sleeve and that's called hypersync. Hypersync allows you to shoot at a much faster shutter speed than you normally would be able to with your camera. So 100, uh, sorry, 1 250th of a second is normally what this tops out at. Using the hypersync function, we can go a little higher than that. Now, you could take this remote cable from the receiver here, and you could pop that in the back of the TT5 and set this to relay mode. And you could do the same thing that we were doing in the previous setup, but using the TT5. The reason I didn't do that though, is that the receiving range of the Plus series is quite a bit longer than the receiving range for the TT5 here. So by using a Plus series for my receiver, the distance between my bike and the camera can be a little longer. Then I'm using this as the transmitter for the flash. So I'm getting kind of the best of both worlds here. I'm getting the, the extra range of the Plus series and the cool functionality of the hypersync in the TT5. So these are set to the same. And then over here on the flash receiver, 
we make sure that this is receiving on the same channel that this TT5 is transmitting. Now, these two pairs are the same. It doesn't matter what pairs they're on as long as these are the same. You know, these are actually on channel four and these are on 17, that's fine. So now what happens when we press this button, camera fires, flash fires, everything's in sync. We got the range of the plus series and the hypersync from the TT5. So that's how I did it. One last thing please subscribe to my channel. We'll have plenty more of this stuff in the future.